We are at Maple Street Bike Park with Tom Markinak. What's going on here, Tom? One of our one of our big plans for this year was trying to make more of the jumps and more of the trails accessible for just more bike uh, members of the community. And um, the way that we're doing that is we're turning our middle jump line, which was rebuilt maybe two years ago, and we're making it all tabletop. So whereas the jumps used to have gaps in the middle, now they do not have gaps. They're filled in the middle, and that allows for younger riders and more beginner riders to access the jumps um, with the safety of kind of being able to just roll over them and practice them that way first. Describe the layout of this park for So we have three lines at the park. There's a small line, which mostly consists of rollers and some small jumps. Um, we have a middle line, which is made up of tabletop jumps, which again have that takeoff lip, a flat um, filled in area, and then the landing. And then we have an advanced line, which is jumps that have gaps in the middle. The jumps are about four feet tall. Um, the gaps are anywhere from you know, five to eight feet um, with gaps in the middle. And then we also have a pump track up top, which is a great place for beginners to just get the feel of riding over rollers, riding around berms, and just practicing getting that, um, that bike feel. Oh, I love this place, it's fun. Now, is there a map at the top? One of our projects for the upcoming year is we're gonna make signs for the whole park. We've had them in the past when the park was originally built in 2012, but the signs have kind of worn down, they got broken. So one of our plans for the upcoming year is to make sure we have signage all around the park that tells what each line is, what the purpose of each line is, and what it looks like to be riding within that line. We decided just recently to start a new committee for the park. Um, I'm one of the members of that committee along with a couple other people here. Um, what we're hoping to do with the committee is make sure that when we do have these dig days or these maintenance days, word gets out to the community. Um, we have set plans for what kind of work's gonna be done. And we can have just more organization around the park and planning for what supplies we need, what kind of resources we wanna um, have for the park, and just have a more organized group of people here to help out and maintain the park. Terrific, well, congratulations on a successful dig day, inaugural dig day. Uh, thanks for stepping up to carry on the tradition. Thank you very much. I appreciate all the help today. You're welcome. My pleasure.